Good morning, Apollo Baptist Church family. Happy Easter. I am greeting you again from my dining room table in isolation on Easter Sunday. He is risen. What's that, Reg? He's risen indeed. That's right. I'm still not feeling well, but I am in the Easter spirit because I know that Christ is my righteousness. Uh, last week, I shared the name of God with you, Yahweh Shama. And I want to share another name of God with you this week that comes from Jeremiah chapter 23. Uh, Jeremiah was very critical of the king that he served under, uh, King Zedekiah, because he was not a very good shepherd. Jeremiah said that there would be a king who would be our ultimate shepherd. That's fine in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. says, The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up to David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely, and do what is just and right in the land. And his days, Judah will be saved. And Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called. The Lord our righteousness. That's the name Yahweh Sikinu. And it means God is my righteousness. What is righteousness? You know, it's not a very popular thing to talk about today. But God does have a standard that we are to live in order to get to heaven. That standard is perfect, per perfection, right? A holy and an upright lifestyle in which we obey all of God's laws all the time. Who can do that? Uh, there was a church one time that ran a competition to see who was the highest principled, well-mannered, sober, well-behaved local citizen. And uh, one of the entries read, uh, I don't smoke, I don't touch intoxicants, I don't gamble, I'm faithful to my wife. In fact, I never even look at another woman. I'm hardworking, quiet, and obedient. I never go to the movies or the theater. I go to bed early every night and rise with the dawn. I attend chapel every Sunday without fail. And I've been like that for the past three years. But just wait until they let me out on parole. Easter is a time when uh, we celebrate that God is our righteousness. Jesus just wasn't a good shepherd that modeled righteousness for us. He is our righteousness. We don't have to achieve perfection in our lives. We don't have to strive to keep a series of laws because our righteousness doesn't depend on us. It depends on him. Righteousness, uh, we, we should strive to be righteous. It's kind of like the, the jockey in the Kentucky Derby, right? They need to live uh, with uh, the strict diet. and They need to train hard. Uh, but in the heat of competition, it's not really the jockey, is it? It's the horse in which he's riding on the power of the horse uh, that carries him to victory. We need to live holy lives, but it's through God's righteousness that we're, it's through Christ's righteousness that we are found acceptable. Think of it this way, right? If God were to ask you, did you keep the greatest commandment? Did you love me with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength? We would have to say no. We didn't do that, right? But Jesus did. Uh, Jesus is our Yahweh Sikinu, right? He did it, and he is our righteousness. Romans 3.21 says, But now a righteousness from God, apart from the law, has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. The righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. It has been said that if our greatest need had been information, God would have sent us an educator. If our greatest need had been technology, God would have sent us a scientist. If our greatest need had been money, God would have sent an economist. If our greatest need had been pleasure, God would have sent us an entertainer. But our greatest need was forgiveness. So God sent us a savior. Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, be sure to click uh, subscribe to our uh, Facebook, our, um, sorry, our YouTube channel, uh, Apollo Baptist Church. Happy Easter. He is risen, and I hope to see you soon.